Hello everyone, Epic Eclipse here, and today I'm bringing a new series to my channel that is called Car Face Off. So basically, what this is, is it's going to be comparing and contrasting two different cars from Rocket League. Also, we will be playing with both of these cars in-game. So, for the very first one, it's going to be two cars that I have trouble debating between. So it's going to be the car that I have up right now, the Octane. And the other car will be the breakup, what I have up right now. These are two cars that I personally like to use and I can't decide between. So I figured I can hit two birds with one stone here and do this series and maybe figure out a car to use for the championship series. So I found I went online and I got a whole bunch of stats from Psionics and things like that that people have taken and I will leave a link in the description of what all the information that I used. So basically it's just a whole bunch of things like how quick the octane is with no boost, with boost, um, its overall ranking, its maneuverability ranking, its hitbox, uh, its turning radius, boost radius, power slide, uh, and boost power slide along with the hitbox height and width. So I will put up a chart right now on the screen as I read this off. So the Octane with no boost is 2.3579 and the breakout is 2.4144. Then with boost it's 2.0038 and the breakout is 2.1572. Which isn't much of a difference but the Octane is definitely a little bit faster. So next the overall ranking of this is so next the overall ranking of the car is a three and for the so next <laughs> so next the overall ranking of the cars is So next, the overall ranking of the Octane is a 3, while the Breakout is a 2. So the Breakout wins in that category. Maneuverability, the Octane is an 18, and the Breakout is a 12. Hitbox, Octane 18, Breakout 17. So it looks like here the Breakout has beat out the Octane a little bit, and then with Turning Radius, the Octane is a 6, and the Breakout is a 3. For Boost Radius is... Uh, the Octane is a 5, and the Breakout is a 1. Power Slide, the Octane is a 3, and the Breakout is a 6. And Boost Power Slide, the Octane is a 4, and the Breakout is 2. And for the Hitboxes, for Height, the Octane is 13, and the Breakout is 6. And for Width, the Octane is 5, and the Breakout is 11. So, obviously there, the Octane is a little higher than the Breakout, but the Breakout is a little wider. And... It seems to be that the turning radius of the breakout is a little bit faster. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a game in both the breakout and the octane so you guys can visually see the difference between the two cars and with the same gameplay behind both of them. So let's get into that. So I'll skip the video and head into we're into a game. All right, well, we're in the game, and for this game, we will be using the Breakout. So this seems to be the most prospected car. Um, I know I will not have the same teammate. What well, does influence your gameplay, but we will do this anyway. So let's get into this. And during these games, I will be talking about my opinion on the two cars and what I think. So basically, when it comes to the Breakout, I don't think it's anywhere near as quick as the Octane, but when you like boost upwards and boost around with it, you definitely move a lot quicker and flying is a lot quicker which is also really helpful and it's a lot better to do aerial dribbles in and the sort of like size of the car is a nice size so you can kind of use it to do a little bit more difficult shots and is definitely way better for freestyling the octane not everyone's gonna agree with me but in my opinion that's what I think so like ooh, I thought he was gonna be ready for that so like if you have a quick shot that's been taken at you and you have to fly up really quickly I think that the breakout is better that for that but the Octane definitely does beat the Breakout in other subjects. 
so. Let's get this game. So this is a ranked game as well, and I am, uh, I believe it's Shooting Star, is the, it's the, the hollow, you'll see after this. I believe I'm Shooting Star level, uh, Division 3. So, so you guys know what rank I'm really at. And sorry if I sound a little bit congested, I am sick. So my voice may sound a little bit different. There we go. <coughs> uh, try not to cough into the mic either. So hopefully we can get both of these games to be win, but you guys can get to see some gameplay between both and you guys can decide for yourself. So also what I would like you guys to do is leave a comment in the description which you would want the next video on this series to be about. Like, if you'd want it to be about, let's say, the Dominus and the Breakout, or anything, the, um, any single car, the Merc versus whatever, and whatever you guys request, I will do, and in a short amount of time, and that's how this series will basically work, will be off of you guys' requests. And if you do think I should do anything different about the videos, uh, just let me know, and I will be sure to implement them as well. Here we go. I like my teammate. Maybe for the next video as well, I will get the same teammate. I'll get one of my friends, so we can't even have a differenti differentiary. Jeez, I can't speak. There won't be any difference in my teammates. Oh, look. Perfect. He agrees with me. And also, I am doing this on keyboard, so everything is up to how it should be, because controller, for me, is just it wouldn't show truly like the car as well as it should be shown off. But I've been debating f between these two cars for the championship series, so I need to find out soon, otherwise I'll be uh, split between the both of them. But I think I may be leaning a little bit more towards the Octane, because it's a little bit better of a team playing car, because I'm better at dribbling and passing in it. <coughs> Although the Breakout is much better for aerials. I mean, it de also depends on the team that we're playing as well. There's a lot of different barriers on it. but. I will be streaming the championship series, so if you guys are interested in watching me and my team play on it, uh, check out my Twitch channel, it'll be down in the description, and shit, <laughs> pinch that in. I don't know where my plan was there to go off the wall with that, but uh, our first game is against a team called Coon and Friends, and our team name is Unreliable Engines, if you guys do not know or have not heard yet. And I am playing with the same people that I play. Oh, jeez. I'm playing with the same people that I play with in the championship series. Um, there can only be two and Zunru. Also known as uh, Tim and Zach. Okay. Well, this game got a lot tighter very quickly. There we go. Nice. It's nice to have that two point lead. It really is a good thing. Sorry, just drinking a sip of water there. I'm sorry also for the sniffles, too, if you guys can hear that, because I realized that I've sniffled a couple times. Alright, let's not screw that up. Okay. Um. We got this. Let's see if we can do a little... That was terrible. <laughs> that was... That was awful. I was expecting to go a little bit faster off my car. I'm gonna play a little bit more defensive here, just to make sure that we win this game. They can't score if they never have it on our side of the field, and there we go. Our teammates just doing everything. I'm probably not as warmed up as I should have been to do this. Oh, okay, he wants me to take it. I'll uh, take it for him. Ooh. Oh no, I fucked that up. Okay, 
He did not shoot that, thank god, because I would have fucked that up too. Uh, no. That's, I think, going in. Okay. I didn't expect him to be going and shooting on that. Oh, I didn't want to hit that a second time. Oh, there's no one there. Well, that was the game with the breakout. So, I hope you guys saw the gameplay there and saw how the car is. So, I will be right back with you guys with the gameplay of the Octane. Alright, everyone, we're back into the game. Hell, everyone, we're back. Alright, we're back with the Octane now, and I played a really quick warm-up match. Actually, it was with this guy, and I played really shitty. I think we are against the same people, too. We just lost, and maybe we can have a little bit of a different outcome here, if that was a little bit better, but... Alright. So, let's win this game, and... We'll be showing the comparison of the Octane here. Oh, Jesus. This game may be a little bit different than the other one. These guys were a lot better than my last opponents. I knew it was going to get them again, too. I don't know if it's exactly the same people. I don't think um, Money Nav was on the other team. I'm not too sure. I do have the recording so I can see. Alright. Me and my teammate didn't exactly play together the greatest either last game, so. Oh, jeez. That was terrible. But this is the car that, I don't know, that I think I'm going to use for the championship series, but I'm still, still determining. It just, it's like, what outweighs the goods and what outweighs the bad, you know? It really is everyone's preference in all opinion like there's all the stats and everything and how quick the car goes and how it feels but it's all how it feels to you what car feels more fluent there's no better car in rocket league they're all pretty much the same they may have these minor differences but they are basically the same i mean like of course like the merc which is a much bigger and heftier car is going to maneuver slower than the Octane or the Breakout, and see what I mean about this guy? He was literally, as I stopped, he was behind me. Oh, jeez. It's probably because I didn't play good at all last game and I made a couple mistakes. As of right now, I'm not playing anywhere near as good in the Breakout as I was playing in, uh, I mean, the Octane as I was playing in the Breakout. But maybe we can change that up. Oh, jeez. I thought he went up with me, but I guess not. So maybe that wasn't such a great idea. Oh, jeez. I, I went for a block there, and he just didn't hit it. I don't think these are the same exact opponents. I think they're similar. Uh, not similar, but I think the one guy is the same, and the other guy is not. The uh, the guy with the, like, triple, I don't even know what you'd call that, like, the triple, like, kind of lines is the same, but money, money nab is not. But money nab is kind of just as good as the other guy was. Maybe even better. Oh, of course. I think I saved that. I like to say that I saved that. And me and my teammate are playing a little bit better. I just don't exactly know how I feel about his playing style. No. Like, I feel like my his playing style together just doesn't work. Uh, I tried to pass it off to him, just couldn't do that so well. Oh, 
see what I mean? Like it's we kind of contradict each other a little bit. He plays very defensively, which I probably do a lot as well. Oh no. I hit the wrong key there. Another big downside to keyboard, but I am trying to switch over to controller. Didn't exactly get the pop there that I wanted to. But basically with the Octane, while I'm playing like team play and stuff, and especially in threes, I'm a lot better at passing the ball. <coughs> and I can dribble a lot better in the Octane than compared to the breakout. It's not like I'm great at dribbling in either one, but if I had to choose which one to use, I would definitely choose the breakout for dribbling. And also, my car seems to be a little bit, like, tougher as the Octane. Well, that was brilliant. So, that was the game, yeah, same guy. It says easy after the game. Real nice, isn't he? But that was the game in the Octane. So let me know down below which you guys think is better. Or even yet, even better than that, you can rate each car from a 1 to a 10, which would be really helpful. And I will keep something written down with all the rankings and stuff. So this has been Epic Eclipse, and this has been the first video of Car Face Off, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and don't forget to leave in the comments what cars you would want me to do next. So I will see.